Welcome to Savage Lands. Excellent gameness. Let's get stuck into it. Okay, it takes a little while to load this. That's one of the main problems of the game. Apart from little glitches, is uh, my inability to find stones and flints. There's not. Well, there is a kind of a tutorial where you have to do 12 certain tasks, and that helps you get to grips with the basics of the game. But then there's not much else, you have to rely on your journal to give you crafting tips. And the rest is just learned by dying and respawning. As you can tell I've died about four or five times so far. I've been playing this game for about eight, nine hours straight. And yeah, it's disappointing when you uh, respawn after dying before and then you killed again. So yeah, not good. Pick your time to die and respawn wisely because you can end up dying again and again as you see now it's about I think six times I've died you just really gotta watch what you're doing you know surviving on this land is pretty difficult and there's my stupid ass body look at those bloody shoes anyway catching animals a lot of fun even if the graphics are glitching out now and again it's still a good laugh so the animals act normally and run away from you except for some of the dog the AI really needs a little bit of tweaking. Some of the animals will just be stuck in a tree or stuck in a bush or just non responsive. See here, I'm trying to get this deer. Not much luck here, I'm going to chase after this bugger. I'm going to move up here. Ugh. He's sprinting ahead. See, bump, bump, bump. Outran. So I'm not going to catch I'm going to catch him up. So, might as well head back. Try and start a fire. I gotta try and stay alive. Without a fire, you will be dead within two days. And same with hunger. You've got about three days, and then, yeah, you'll be dying. So, you need to catch animals, and they're quite easy to kill and whatnot. Your character can be decorated with tattoos and stuff, and obviously, your clothing's not gonna be the latest fashions. That's for sure. Not, no going to Top Man here. You have to wear animal furs and stuff like that. And you can craft yourself armor. But you've got to find the materials for it. And that's what's making the game a little more hard going. Which is fine, because it just encourages replay. Building the fire is important, of course, in the game. And you've got to make sure you've got plenty of flint. Get as much as you can. If you find a place where there's flint, gather more. Or mine some more with your little axe. You'll need a good strong axe to um, chisel away at these stones and rocks. And it can be a pain. You'll need to collect coal, which can be found uh, on a small island to my left. And that was uh, only found after the third time I died. So <laughs> you have to really look around the whole area of the map that you're in to see where all the good stuff is. And then when you die, remember where everything is. And then go back to it. And uh, yeah, you should live a lot longer. I've gone from living two days to living three days, so I'm doing a lot better now. As soon as I can gather enough materials, or find some materials, and that can only be done with studying the journal. And in this journal here, it gives you a long list of everything. Weapons, you know, animals there. Also clothing, storage, and medicines, also potions, and of course foodstuffs. A lot of this takes a hell of a lot of resource finding, which is a bit of a drag. But if you like these sort of games, because it is kind of similar to Rust in a way. I think it's a lot more fun than Rust. You can join uh, other people, so you can fight. Are you friendly or not so friendly? Or we can band together, build a nice little town together, and then take on a dragon. So that is possible. That's something that No Man's Sky should have, really, multiplayer. Because this has multiplayer in it, and it's pretty cool as well. Obviously, you're going to meet friendly players and not so friendly players, so be warned you will meet assholes in this game. But so far, I've not met anyone online, so I'll be doing that in the next video of this game where I'll be exploring uh, the multiplayer and showing you how it goes and if it works and if it's any good. The potions are very important, you've got to study all these, some of them are very handy indeed. But Again, it's finding the resources very difficult. See, it's not my connection here. 
Or maybe it is, but the game is, seems to be a bit jerky at times. Especially the animals. The AI and the movement of the boar here is really poor. That needs work. It's a lovely game. But I've never seen a boar jump up and down like that. It's like it's a kangaroo or something. <laughs> Getting difficult to kill the bugger. Come on, give me gammon. Gammon steaks, yes. Gammon steaks, what do you get? That's it. See what I mean? Resource building is not easy. You have to kill a lot, hunt a lot, and before you freeze to death, try and find all those important minerals and stones. And keep an eye out on plants as well. Remember, rabbits, easy. You don't even need to set a trap, really. You can set traps and stuff. Won't bother, just chase them. Why waste resources when you can hunt them down? When you'll need those resources for bigger buildings later on. And it will take you probably about 30, 40 hours to probably rank all the way up to crafting really good stuff. It will take a bit of time, so you need to put the hours in. I do find some of the animations and the creatures work, and some of the bad guys as well are pretty, uh, pretty non-responsive at the time. I'll show you a little clip here. I thought this was a fire. It wasn't. It was a bad guy. A very tough one to kill as well. I ended up using two weapons on this thing. It took me absolute age. <laughs> I think it took me about three minutes to kill him. <laughs> He's not even responding to me. Very strange. Last time this guy killed me in like ten seconds. Boom, I was gone. This time, I'm going to fast forward it here. <laughs> I'm kicking his ass. So yeah, AI needs work. I don't know what's going on here. I know it's an early build. Early version of the game. So you, you gotta expect that. There's some good bits in this game and some bad bits. But you can tell this game needs a little work. Definitely. And he's a goner. What do I get? What loot? Oh dear. That's it. I don't even know what that does. I'll have to find out for the next video what that does. That'll definitely be part two. Along with finding the flint to keep that fire going. And this bloody fire warms you up very slowly. Very, very slowly. Now I'm trying to find more animals. I'm actually on the flint hunt. Coal is in that book is in that book formation there. And this is what I mean about the animal AI. Sometimes clever, sometimes dumbest thing. Look at this bang. There's one down. You think he'd run away? Nope. Mr. Stag stays. Are you going to stay there? Boom. 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 Dead. And it's a nice sinew there. Sinew is very important. It's like gold dust, that stuff. I've heard you can trade as well with uh, players online, which is good. Or they can kill you and probably nick all your stuff. Which will probably be nine times out of ten. That will happen, it's a bit like DayZ, but for medieval times. And if you're going to die, I recommend you um, putting some of your stuff close by, you know, so when you respawn, you know where it's going to be. Now, obviously, you're going to die. I'm going to die. I'm going to freeze to death. The blue line there is your well, freezometer. <laughs> Help of the heart there. Energy on the left, and on the right is your hunger, the yellow bar. And you got to watch it. And, well, you've got to really keep an eye on all that because you will die very, very quickly if you jump in cold water. Well, I know I'm going to die. I'm going to freeze to death very soon. I'm collecting as much stuff as I can. Cold stones and everything. I'm trying to harvest the cold stones. Ones I can't stop you. Um, I'll probably need to get some money to play. Yes, I'm going to get some money to play. I'm going to get some money to play. Thanks for watching and thanks for letting me ramble on and on. It's not a bad game this.